हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर देवेंद्र मोहन फ्रॉम गुरु जम्बेश्वर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हिसार इन हरियाणा टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट फ्रैंक एंडन प्रिंसिपल अंडर द पेपर एटॉमिक मॉलिकुलर एंड लेजर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल विल बी एबल टू लर्न फाइन एंड रोटेशनल स्ट्रक्चर of electronic bands faulted parabola frank kernan principle along with its applications fine or rotational structure of electronic bands it is understood that the vibrational and rotational constants for two different states let us say that the states are te prime and te double prime are different as these are associated with different electronic levels so nu is equal to nu e plus nu nu plus nu r can be written as this is a combination of electronic vibrational and rotational nu is equal to nu not plus nu r is equal to nu not plus f prime j prime minus f double prime j double prime that is due to possible changes in the rotational state for any given vibrational transition here nu not is equal to nu e plus nu nu is constant for a particular vibrational transition and is called the band origin or the zero line as nu r depends upon different values of the rotational quantum number in the upper and lower state and f prime j prime and f double prime j double prime are rotational terms of upper and lower electronic states respectively so for non rigid vibrating oscillator we know the value of f nu j is equal to b nu j j plus 1 minus d nu j square j plus 1 whole square therefore the above equation can be written as nu bar is equal to nu not bar plus b nu prime j prime j prime plus 1 minus d nu prime j prime square j prime plus 1 square minus b nu double prime j double prime j double prime plus 1 minus d nu double prime j double prime square j double prime plus 1 square the selection rules for the rotational transitions are delta j is equal to j prime minus j double prime is equal to 0 or plus minus 1 in case both the electronic states have lambda is equal to 0 then delta j is equal to 0 is forbidden as an example singlet sigma to singlet sigma transition there are three series of lines or branches r q and p corresponding to delta j is equal to plus 1 delta j is equal to 0 and delta j is equal to minus 1 respectively for allowed transitions in the first case when delta j is equal to 1 and for the r branch we can write down nu r bar is equal to nu not bar plus b nu prime j plus 1 j plus 2 minus d nu prime j plus 1 square j plus 1 square minus b nu double prime j plus 1 minus d nu double prime j square j plus 1 square neglecting the small terms of d nu we write nu bar is equal to nu not bar plus twice b nu bar plus 3 b nu prime minus b nu double prime j plus b nu prime minus b nu double prime j square is equal to rj in the second case when delta j is equal to 0 and it is for the q branch we can write nu q bar is equal to nu not bar plus b nu prime j j plus 1 minus d nu bar j square j plus 1 square minus b nu double prime j j plus 1 minus 
डी न्यू डबल प्राइम जे स्क्वायर जे प्लस वन स्क्वायर अगेन निग्लेक्टिंग द स्मॉल टर्म्स इन डी न्यू न्यू क्यू बार इज इक्वल टू न्यू नॉट बार प्लस बी न्यू प्राइम माइनस बी न्यू डबल प्राइम जे प्लस बी न्यू प्राइम माइनस बी न्यू डबल प्राइम जे स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू क्यू ऑफ जे थर्ड केस इट इज फॉर पी ब्रांच एंड डेल्टा जे इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन सो न्यू पी प्राइम इज इक्वल टू न्यू नॉट प्राइम प्लस बी न्यू प्राइम जे प्राइम जे प्राइम प्लस वन माइनस डी न्यू प्राइम जे प्राइम स्क्वायर जे प्राइम प्लस वन स्क्वायर माइनस बी न्यू डबल प्राइम जे जे प्लस वन माइनस डी न्यू डबल प्राइम जे स्क्वायर जे प्लस वन स्क्वायर निग्लेक्टिंग स्मॉल टर्म इन डी न्यू न्यू पी बार इज इक्वल टू न्यू नॉट बार माइनस बी न्यू प्राइम प्लस बी न्यू डबल प्राइम जे प्लस बी न्यू प्राइम माइनस बी न्यू डबल प्राइम जे स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू पी जे Evidently, P and R branches can be represented by a single expression. New P R is equal to new naught plus B new prime minus B new double prime into M plus B new prime minus B new double prime M square, and Q branch is represented by new Q is equal to new naught plus B new prime minus B new double prime Q plus B new prime minus B new डबल प्राइम क्यू स्क्वायर वेयर एम इज इक्वल टू माइनस जे फॉर पी ब्रांच विद जे इज इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री एक्सेट्रा एंड एम इज इक्वल टू जे प्लस वन फॉर आर ब्रांच विद जे इज इक्वल टू जीरो वन टू एंड सो ऑन एंड क्यू इज इक्वल टू जे फॉर जे इज इक्वल टू जीरो वन टू एक्सेट्रा द फिगर shows all these three branches on single energy level diagram for vibronic transition singlet pi to singlet sigma transition this figure shows the r branch q branch and p branch in the absence of q branch there is one simple series of lines in which the separation between lines changes regularly for singlet pi state the possible values of j are lambda lambda plus 1 lambda plus 2 and so on that is 1 2 3 and so on for singlet sigma state j values are lambda lambda plus 1 lambda plus 2 and so on that is 0 1 2 so, consequently the figure depicts the lowest level of upper state corresponds to j is equal to 1 while for the lower state it is j is equal to 0 The first lines in the R, Q, and P branches are those having j is equal to zero, one, and two respectively. The P, P branch start from j is equal to two, and there is no transition corresponding to j is equal to zero and j is equal to one. There are missing lines at new is equal to new zero and new is equal to new not minus two b new double prime. as is evident from the equation new p for p series the frequency is new not minus b new prime plus b new double prime j plus b new prime minus b new double prime j square is equal to p series by substituting the value of j the first line of q branch lies at new is equal to new 0 plus twice of b new prime minus b new double prime corresponding to j is equal to 1 as b new prime and b new double prime are not very different and hence q branch starts neighboring to new 0 the gap at new is equal to new 0 is not so apparent fault rate diagram fault rate diagram or parabola are the plots of j against frequency of the rotation lines and it has been shown in the figure because we have equation for p and r branches where we had written new p r is equal to new not plus b new prime minus b new double prime m plus b new prime minus b new double prime m square so as you see that there is a quadratic terms so one of the two branches turn back and thus form a 
band head. The folded parabola has been shown in the figure. In one case, when B nu prime is less than B nu double prime, band head shaded to the red, while B nu prime greater than B nu double prime, band head shaded to the blue. Considering B nu prime is less than B nu double prime, there are the linear and quadratic terms in the above equation for nu corresponding to P and R branch. Those have opposite sign for R branch that is m is equal to j plus 1 due to which the separation between lines goes on decreasing as the value of j increases. For a certain value of j, the quadratic term contribution exceeds the linear term contribution and the lines of the R branch turn back towards lower value of nu that means higher value of the wavelength with the increase in j value. Therefore, the band head lies on the short wavelength side of the zero line and the band is shaded means it is degraded towards the red, the larger wavelength. This further suggests that the internuclear distance in vibrational state of upper electronic state is greater than that of vibrational state of the lower electronic state. For P branch, m is equal to minus j, the linear and quadratic terms of the equation have same negative sign. Hence, nu for P branch decreases as the value of j increases. And for P branch, the spacing between lines increases at longer wavelength side as is evident from the figure and no band head is formed. And for Q branch, when Q is equal to j, and both linear and quadratic terms of this equation written for the Q frequency corresponding to Q is equal to nu naught plus B nu prime minus B nu double prime Q plus B nu prime minus B nu double prime Q square have negative sign. Hence the Q branch extends to lower wave number that means higher wavelength side of nu zero as the J value increases. It is pointed out that the lines in Q branch are not be separately resolved for small value of J for the small difference in B nu prime minus B nu double prime. A single broad line may appear at nu zero that is shaded towards the red. Considering B nu prime greater than B nu double prime, this indicates that internuclear distance in upper electronic state is smaller than that of lower electronic state. The coefficient B nu prime minus B nu double prime is positive. For R branch, the linear and quadratic terms of the equation have positive contribution. Thus, nu R goes on increasing as the J value increases. The separation between lines goes on increasing on the shorter wavelength side. For P branch, the linear term gives negative contribution to nu P bar, whereas quadratic term gives positive contribution for a J value. For small j, the linear term is prominent and therefore, nu P shifts towards longer wavelength or the lower wave number side. However, for larger value of J, the contribution of quadratic term to nu p plays a significant role and due competition the separation between lines decreases and nu p also decreases. But after a particular value of j, nu p stops decreasing and starts increasing and contribution of the quadratic term exceeds the contribution of linear term and lines of p branch turn towards higher value of nu p that is lower wavelength as j is further increased. Hence, in this case the band head lies on the longer wavelength side of the zero line and band is shaded towards violet. In Q branch the linear and quadratic terms have positive contribution and thus the spacing between the lines goes on increasing with j towards higher side of nu naught. The band head in P and R lies 
at a great distance from the zero line for small difference of b nu prime minus b nu double prime. Further, in case b nu prime is approximately equal to b nu double prime, the head in P and R branch may lie at such a large distance from the band origin that it is not observed as for the corresponding m values the intensity of lines must have decreased to 0. Also for Q branch the linear term is small for B nu prime equal to B nu double prime and Q branch parabola intersect the abscissa axis at about right angle. There is important to note that a large difference in, in B nu prime and B nu double prime causes the spreading out the Q branch components and hence the sharp Q branch is not obtained. The bands having a Q branch show two heads either in P and Q branch where B nu prime is greater than B nu double prime shaded to violet or in R and Q branch B nu prime less than B nu double prime shaded to red. The M value corresponding to band head also called vertex of the fault tread parabola is obtained by D nu by D M is equal to 0, D nu by D M is equal to D nu by D M plus B nu prime plus B nu double prime plus B nu prime minus B nu double prime M is equal to 0. So, the vertex value of M is equal to minus B nu prime plus B nu double prime divided by twice B nu prime minus B nu double prime. The actual head lies at the nearest whole numbered value of M, though M is not integral. For R branch, M is equal to J plus 1 and J plus 1 vertex value is equal to minus B nu prime plus B nu double prime divided by twice B nu prime minus B nu double prime. Thus, J vertex is minus B nu double prime plus 3 B nu prime divided by 2 B nu prime minus B nu double prime. For P branch, M is equal to minus J and J vertex is equal to minus B nu prime plus B nu double prime divided by twice B nu prime minus B nu double prime. Putting the value of M vertex in the equation of the frequency of P and R branch, nu vertex is equal to nu naught minus B nu prime plus B nu double prime upon 4 B nu prime minus B nu double prime. Transporting nu naught to the left. Now, if the left hand side is positive, that means B nu prime is less than B nu double prime, the band shaded towards red. And if it is negative, that means B nu prime is greater than B nu double prime, the band is shaded towards violet. Intensity distribution in band systems, that is Frank Condon principle. Electronic transition in a molecule takes place so rapidly compared to the vibrational motion of the nuclei that the instantaneous internuclear distance is considered as unchanged during the electronic transition. And according to Frank Condon principle, an electronic transition between the states A and B is represented by vertical line from one level to the other. The principle can be combined with probability density psi square of linear harmonic oscillator to understand the intensity distribution among the bands. Consider a molecule in the lowest vibrational level of an electronic state. The probability distribution function psi square is maximum at the midpoint while this probability distribution function psi square is maximum at the end points in the excited vibrational states. The figure below depicts that the psi square is maximum at the midpoint of the nu is equal to 0 level and near the points of the higher vibrational levels. Therefore, the most probable vibrational transitions are those in which 
one of the two turning points of a vibrational level of one electronic state lies at the same internuclear distance as one of the two turning points of a level of the other electronic state except in case of nu is equal to zero level for which the midpoint rather than the turning point is substituted. Quantum mechanically the transition is governed by Frank Condon factor and is represented by F nu prime nu double prime is equal to integral psi v star psi v double prime square of this. The most intense transitions will be those for which the overlap between psi v double prime determined from the lower electronic state and psi v prime determined from the upper electronic state is maximum. Use of Frank Condon principle intensity distribution in absorption spectrum can be interpreted with the help of Frank Condon principle. All the absorption transitions start from the lowest nu double prime is equal to 0 level of the ground electronic state. The figure below depicts the absorption transitions between two electronic states in a diatomic molecule wherein three typical situations have been shown. First is the equilibrium internuclear distance are almost equal in both electronic states. The transition nu double prime is equal to 0 to nu prime is equal to 0 is most probable because it connects configurations of high probability and also appears as a vertical line as to follow Frank Condon principle. And in this case R does not change during electronic transition. Transitions to level nu prime is equal to 1, 2 etcetera also occur, but rarely as these involve a change in R and thus deviate from the Frank Condon principle and lead to weak absorption bands. Thus, in the band system, the 0, 0 band appears with maximum intensity and the intensity decreases rapidly for the higher bands. As an example, the intensity distribution observed in oxygen absorption bands. In the second case, the internuclear distance is slightly greater in the upper state. The most probable transition is nu double prime is equal to 0 to nu prime is equal to 2 that connects the configurations of maximum probability and also satisfies the Frank Condon principle. There are weak bands corresponding to transitions to levels nu prime is equal to 0, 1, 3, 4. Hence, starting from the 0, 0 band, the intensity first rises to a maximum and then decreases. As an example, this distribution is observed in the absorption band system of CO molecule carbon monoxide. In the third case, the internuclear distance is much greater in the upper state. A vertical electronic transition from the midpoint of nu double prime is equal to 0 level is most likely to terminate in the continuum of the upper electronic state, thus dissociating the molecule. The spectrum is expected to consist of a progression of weak bands joined by a continuum of maximum absorption intensity. As an example, this is a case with the absorption spectrum of iodine molecule. Now discussing about the intensity distribution in emission bands with the help of Condon parabola. According to Frank Condon principle, the distribution of intensity in a band progression with nu prime is equal to 0 in emission corresponds exactly to that of a progression with nu double prime is equal to 0 in absorption. There is an intensity maximum at a nu double prime value depending on relative position of the minima of the two potential curves. The greater the difference R e prime minus R e double prime, the larger is the nu double prime value for the intensity maximum. However, in emission, the initial level is a nu prime level. These are well populated depending upon the means of excitation and therefore, a number of band progressions are seen in emission 
but only one progression with new double prime is equal to 0 is generally seen in absorption. The intensity distribution for band progressions in emission with new prime greater than 0 is different from that for the progression with new prime is equal to 0. It will be of interest to note that the intensity distribution for band progression in absorption with new double prime greater than 0 as in case of heavy molecules. Referring to the figure, let a molecule occupies the level A B of upper electronic state after excitation. The molecule spend more time at the turning points A and B from which transitions are most probable. The molecule will be in its new vibrational level F E or C D according to Franken principle as it will be either at F vertically below the A or at C vertically below B immediately after the transition. Therefore, there are two new levels to which probability of transition from a given new prime level is a maximum and hence there will be two intensity ma maxima in a new progression where new prime is constant one at smaller new and other at larger new. The point C moves up more rapidly than the point F with the increase in new prime. Thus, the two intensity maxima would separate more and more from each other and also would go to higher new values. This is in agreement with the experimental observations. The plot of the intensities of the band of a system in a new prime new double prime array similar to a Deslander's table and joining up the most intense bands, a parabolic curve is obtained whose axis is the principal diagonal. This is called the Condon parabola and has been shown in the figure. There are two intensity maxima in all horizontal rows with the exception of that with nu prime is equal to 0, which has only one maxima. The two maxima that means limbs of parabola separate further with the higher new prime values. Conclusively, the separation of the two intensity maxima and therefore the width of the Condon parabola increases with increasing difference of Re prime minus Re double prime that means minima of the potential curves. This is the reason that the Condon parabola for SIN is almost a straight line while that for O2 is so much open as to have its limbs almost at right angle to each other and has been shown in the figure. In case of SIN, RE prime is equal to RE double prime where the two maxima in each progression corresponding to nu prime is equal to constant coincide. So, delta nu is equal to 0 sequence principal diagonal of the this lender stable is the strongest and traceable to quite high value of new prime. The delta nu is equal to plus minus 1 sequences are either much weaker or not observed at all. So, students, we have learnt in this module fine and rotational structure of the electronic bands, folded parabola, Frank and principle, its use and explanation of intensity distribution in absorption and emission spectrum. Thank you.